When you're doing your improving productivity unit and writing up about the applications that you've used, you have to talk about PowerPoint and making a PowerPoint presentation for a pet rescue centre, about your Excel spreadsheet that you've just made, and also about making a website. Back in year seven or eight, you may have used Web Blender. You may remember how to use it. It's perfect to write about in terms of improving productivity because improving productivity is about time saving, making something that's fit for purpose, in other words, looks good and works well, but also is quick and easy to use because if it's quick and easy to use and does the job, you won't need to do much training really for the people that are going to be producing your website. And to be honest, it's so easy to use, I'll just go through some of the features just to remind you, it's so easy to use that probably very little trainings required at all. It's sort of self-explanatory really. T for the text box, click in it, write the text that you want to put, highlight it, select the font, use the scroll bar to change the size, you've got bold, italic, underline, different alignment tools here as well. You can change your text colour and you get a palette. You can change the background colour and again you get another palette and you can decide whether you show a scroll bar on that piece of text or not. You can resize it and move it to wherever you want. You can insert an image but to be honest you can just copy and paste an image into here as well. You've also got a podcast feature um, to add social media and other things as well. You can add a shape to the page, so I've decided I wanted some kind of button or something like that. I could add that, or I could even add a table of information as well. You can go into the library and find information from your hard drive and add videos um, and pictures and other forms of media from there. Back in the options, I can click and create a hyperlink, a link to other pages or to another website or to a file or to an email address. And so that's really, really easy to set up. If I decided I wanted to create a template page like this, once it's done, I can copy it and paste it as many times as I want. And then if I wanted to, decided that I wanted to create buttons for each of those. A great feature is that I can click on that. I can decide, OK, if that button goes to the next page, page one or page two, page three, as I rename these, I can click on the hyperlink, decide which page it's going to go to once I've renamed them along the bottom here. I'll just take it to the next page. And what's really good here is that I can add that to all pages. And now I have that hyperlink on all of my pages. I can rename the pages here just by double clicking on them. That's another great feature. And that one now is going to go to the next page. And this one will go to the next page and so forth. So whatever I decide I, I want to do in terms of my buttons, I can do it on the first page. And then I can click and add to all pages. In other words, I set up my hyperlinks once and it creates them off all of the pages. I can click on one page and duplicate it so I can create a template and then just change the parts that I want. I can also add sounds to my website if I decided I wanted to. And on any of the objects, I can add shadow effects, change its appearance, rotate it, rotate it by a certain amount, flip it, and as I say, add to all pages. So these are all features within Web Blender 
which make it really really easy to to use i've got cut copy paste and undo as well and i can publish to local which means that i could see what it looks like before i then click on publish from ftp file transfer protocol means i'm going to upload it to a, a remote web server so that it's actually going to be live on the internet so these are some of the easy tools that you can use when talking about web blender